Usually my desk is a heck of a lot messier. I'm trying to clear all this for the weekend. Thanks. After more than 40 years of public service, 75-year-old Maisie Hirono is not slowing down. To understand her drive, look no further than her late mother, who in the 1950s left Japan with her three children to escape an abusive marriage. I'd say she was the biggest influence, the single most important person uh, who changed my life by bringing me to this country. Not only the, uh, was I very well um, aware of the courage that it took for her to uh, escape uh, an abusive marriage to my father, who I did not get to know, but it's also the experience of being an immigrant in a country where I didn't know the language and to watch my mother persevere and also the, the immigrant experience of the coming to this country with nothing. Hirono became a naturalized American citizen in 1959. Her certificate hangs on the wall next to her desk. In 2017, her career was put on pause when she was diagnosed with stage four kidney cancer. Still, the thought of leaving politics was never really considered. No, that's not what entered my mind. In fact, truly, when I was told that my diagnosis, I asked my doctor, doctor first words out of my mouth literally were, am I going to die anytime soon? And he said, no. And I said, well, then what are we going to do? How are we going to, uh, um, you know, what, what's next? And what's next were a couple of uh, major operations. But there, there was no, nothing in my mind that said that I can't go on. And so I have, and I will. A reminder of her cancer ordeal are the hundreds of origami cranes which hang from a cherry tree branch in her office. It's become tradition for guests to make and sign one. A lot of these cranes were folded by people who wanted to acknowledge my diagnosis and wanted me to keep going. Uh, and since then, people who come to my office, they fold cranes and, and they sign the cranes. And it's part of uh, a cultural diversity that uh, I really uh, support and we celebrate in Hawaii. During her free time, Hirono enjoys making ceramics. She was nice enough to give me one of her original art pieces. On average, she'll make it back to the islands once a month. What does she miss the most? The food, of course. And that's why whenever I come back, my suitcase is full of food. So the usual things, I bring manapua, um, poi, you know, um, lao lao, food. <laughs> As for her taste in music, it might surprise you. One group that I love is I do love BTS because I think they're very unique, talented. Uh, they, uh, they really brought uh, their music and their whole personality uh, to the world. And I am amazed that uh, this Asian group has uh, that kind of uh, influence, a very positive influence all over the world. Hirono has already announced she'll run for another six-year term in 2024. For her, there's still too much to do and no reason to stop. I'm still in treatment, but um, I am plugging away, and, and it, it does not prevent me from doing my job, as I'm sure the people of Hawaii see. Whenever I'm home, I'm very uh, active and busy. I have a lot of energy, and I uh, continue to fight for the things that haven't gotten done. So uh, I'm going to just keep on going. Rick Kwan, KITV4 Island News.